Alrighty, this podcast we're going to show how to make a patch cable. So we're going to need a couple things out of our toolkit. We'll eventually need the meter out of the toolkit when we're, when we're done making the cable to test it. That's these two pieces here. We'll need the jacket stripper, and there's a diff uh, couple different styles in our toolkits, but they look something like this. Some of them are orange, some of them are white like this. Uh, we'll need this to cut the jacket off. We'll need a couple... Um, or a couple of the modular 8-pin connectors or RJ45 connectors. I'll have those in the room for you. We'll need the wire cutter, and then we'll actually need the crimper. Okay, so those are the things we'll need out of the toolkit. Now, I'm going to slide them kind of off to the side to declutter my screen a little bit. Um, that way we can focus on what we're doing, but I have those items out ready to go. Now, previously I did one end of my patch cable already. I'm going to show you how to do the other end. That way when I'm done, I actually have a working cable to show you. So first thing we'll do is we'll take our um, cable here. We'll cut you know a couple feet off of the uh, bulk box of cable in the room. If this end looks a little rough, just trim it off. Okay, Make sure that's a nice clean end there. We're going to take and strip maybe inch, inch and a half of the jacket off using our jacket stripper. We'll open this up. There's a blade in there. We'll slide the uh, cable through, again, about an inch, inch and a half. We're going to turn this around maybe one, maybe two times till it cuts through the jacket, and we'll carefully pull the jacket off. We don't want to keep going because it'll, it'll cut through the jacket and then start cutting through the little wires inside. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to lay it out in color code order. Big tip. Um, we're using the B color code. So the B color code has the orange wires on the left, brown wires, brown wires on the right. So I just turned my cable so that um, as I look at it, the orange wires on the left and the brown wires on the right. That makes a huge help in dealing with your cable. Next thing we're going to do is we need to untwist these just down to the jacket so we can start getting them in color code order. Now, you'll notice that these tend to flop around like little wet noodles. Remember, this is stranded conductor cable. So these are flexible, um, which allows for the cable to have a lot of use without the conductor breaking, but they tend to be like little floppy wet noodles. Okay. So we just need to be a little bit patient and persistent in getting them in the order we want. All right, so we now need white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. That's my color code order. Uh, the lab paper has the uh, printout for you for easy viewing. Um, and it, it seems odd, but from the early days of phone, this was phone line number one, and the two wires around it were phone line number two. So our data cabling network um, system, if you will, is designed to handle phone as well as data. So we have white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. That's our left to right color code order. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of pinch these almost like I'm holding a uh, hand of cards if I were playing a card game. I'm going to hold those and I'm going to try to flatten these out. Now, let me get my cable adjusted here one second. There we go. I am going to hold these like I'm playing cards, if you will, and I'm going to try to pinch them down here, and then these wires here, I'm going to start gathering up so that they're kind of pointing this way, and then what I do is I take these wires and I kind of wiggle them side to side as I pull out. So I kind of wiggle side to side and pull out to flatten them out. That's what I do to, I need to get them straight so that they'll fit into the connector. Okay, so I'm kind of wiggling side to side this way as I'm pulling them out. And you notice I get them pretty straight and pretty flat. White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Wonderful. I now need to trim these so they will fit in my connector. Well, there's two things I have to worry about. Let me show you the end I already have done so you can see what I'm going to talk about. All right. On well, the end that I already have done. I have two dimensions I need to worry about. One is I need to make sure the gray jacket gets into the connector far enough that there's a little plastic triangle here that grabs a hold of the jacket. Um, so when I slide this in, I need to make sure that cable jacket gets in far enough that that little plastic triangle will grab a hold of it. Let me do a little focus here and try that. I think I focused the wrong way. Let me try it the other way. There we go. 
if I look at it there, I need to make sure that jacket gets in far enough that the um, little plastic triangle is going to grab the jacket. The second thing I need to do is if I look at it up top, see all the color wires? They need to go the whole way to the end of the connector. That way, as I crimp the connector, the brass pins on the bottom actually pierce through and make contact with those little wires so I have an electrical connection. So I do have two dimensions I have to get right when I terminate this, this connector. Um, it takes a little practice. It takes a little practice. So what I do, and this is just kind of from my experience, I know uh, when I hold my thumb here, if I trim right about at the end of my finger here, that's about the right dimension. What you'll need to do is kind of lay it here and figure out about how far you need to trim off. And I'm going to give you another tip. Always trim a little long because you can always trim more off. Secondly, these are stranded. When I slide them in the connector, they tend to kind of shrink back into the connector a little bit. So if you're a little long, it usually ends up working out just right. So white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. I'm now going to trim them. I'm going to use my wire cutter here. I'm going to use the trimming jaw in there. And I need to trim them straight across, not at an angle. If I do it at an angle, these wires will make it to the end and these won't kind of thing. So I need to make sure I go straight across like this and just trim off the excess. Okay, so let me get my wires in color code order again. White, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. And I'm, I'm getting my cable organized so it's all flat and level. There we go. And once I do that, I'm going to take my connector, brass pin side up, clicky tab, clicky tab down, because... Um, pin one is over here on the left, and I have my wire over here, this white orange wire should be in pin one. So as I do this, I'm going to trim these off, and I'm going to slide the connector on with a clicky tab down. So I have my connector ready to go as well. So white orange orange, white green blue, white blue green, white brown brown. I'm going to give it a little trim. I'm going to grab my connector, clicky tab down. I'm going to take these wires and slide them into the connector. There is actually eight channels in there, one for each wire to slide into. So I'm going to, you know, kind of wiggle it so they all get in their own little slot. And I'm going to check two dimensions. One, I'm going to make sure that the gray jacket is going to get grabbed by the little plastic triangle, and it is good. And I'm making sure the little wires get to the end of my connector, and they are. So I'm kind of looking at all sides here to make sure. Great. I'm going to give it a little wiggle to make sure everything's in there. I'm now going to grab my crimper. Here's my crimper. The crimper only allows the connector to go in one to one way. Here are the crimping jaws there. So as I slide this in, it's going to go in with, in this case, the clicky tab down. I will slide it into my crimper. And then I will crimp. Let me get my tools out of the way. There we go. I'm going to crimp, and this does a little ratchet mechanism. It starts to crimp, and it won't let me stop until I crimp the whole way. So I'm going to keep going. Once I keep going, it'll click to let loose and allow me to get the connector out of the crimper. Okay. And if I take a peek now, I'll try to look at it up close. I'll see the little plastic triangle has gone in to grab the jacket. The little brass pins have been um, pushed in and have pierced through the little wires in there. So I should have a good connection. I should have a good connection on this end of my cable. If by chance anything goes wrong at this point and it doesn't terminate right, unfortunately the only solution is to cut this off and start over. That is the only solution. There's no way to like undo any of this. Okay, so just a little side note on that one. All right, I'm going to clear my scraps out of the way. I'm now going to grab the tester out of the toolkit. This is the one that's in the toolkit. Actually, first, once I do one end, I do need to repeat the exact same process on the other end. Um, and as I look at my cable, I should see both ends are identical. Both ends are identical, same color code layout. That's what I should be seeing. So once I do the first end, I'll repeat it for the exact same process on the other end. Once I have both ends completed, I will now get my tester out, and I'm going to plug my cable into one end of the tester here, and I'm going to plug the other end of the cable into the other end of the tester. This is in two pieces because this will test the cable here, but it will also allow me to take it into two pieces, one into the wiring closet and one out by the computer to test a cable run. So this actually has a couple capabilities to it. I'm going to hit the on button. 
And then I'm going to hit it one more time to do a test. And what I should see, I should see these four lights light up. The shielding light is going to blink. That's fine because we don't have shielding. And I should see a pass light light up. I should also see on the other side these four light up indicating there's a complete path. Now what it's doing, there is a battery in here. It actually sends a signal out. In this case, the, the uh, you know, the one, one, two pair sends it out. The white orange wire comes over to the other end. This loops it back the whole way back to here, back the orange wire. And if that makes a complete path, that light lights up to say, yep, that's a complete path. We're good. And it repeats it for the three, six, four, five, and seven, eight. So each color pair, it repeats that. Um, that's what I should be seeing on my, my cable if everything has been done correctly. Um, at this point, I would tell you, make sure you show this to me so I, I can mark you down as uh, completing a patch cable, a working patch cable. Um, the other thing you can do is we do also have another meter in our lab room, this guy right here. Uh, we actually have more than one style of this, but this actually is able to give you a wire map of your cable. So I'm going to click the cable option. I need to use the arrows down here. It's not a touch screen. I'm going to use the arrows and click cable. And I'm now going to, I got ahead of myself here. I'm going to plug my cable into... There's a port on the top and there's a port on the side. So I'm going to plug my cable into those two. Let me back out of screen here. I'll click the cable option again. I'll hit the enter key here or select key. It's going to run the signal through the cable the whole way and hopefully make a little map of my cable run. And that's what I should be seeing. I got a little glare on the screen, so I'm tilting so you can see it. It shows um, the signal going out through the cable the whole way around and it's showing that all eight wires are wired straight through. See, there we go. That's a straight through patch cable. That is a successful cable, successful straight through patch cable. If by any chance one of these lights did not light up here and, and or I see something out of line here, something maybe uh, not connected or flipped around, let me know. I'll help you locate the end that we want to re-terminate. Usually it's just one end you need to re-terminate and we can uh, have a working cable. Um, so if we do see anything faulty, we'll try to locate the end that we need to re-terminate and terminate. So there is your straight through patch cable for patch cable construction.